there. We want to share a few impressions from our fabulous New Year trip to the Canary Islands. Let's start with Lanzarote, which I like to refer to as Iceland for beginners. Our route originally was to arrive at the airport and just do a loop. But because accommodation was slow on the ground, we went from the airport into Arecife, had a look around, and then went along the coast, down to the south, up along this coast, through the Tamanfaya National Park, all the way up to the north, some loops along this coast here, and a bit more coast here, and through La Queria, back down to Playa Blanca, where we took the ferry to Fuerteventura. <music> How cool is that? Huh? Yeah. Looks lovely. Beautiful. The size of these waves. Be cool for surfing except you'll end up on the rocks. Oh it feels as far as you can see. So impressive and so easy. You don't have to cycle up Teide on Tenerife. You can have it down at sea level. <laughs> Paved. Not like crossing Iceland, as Terina rightly remarked. Really a grand entrance for a small, beautiful town. And not least for a town where we managed to get a place to stay the night. Cycling straight into a caldera here. Huh? Looks like it. <laughs> Greeks and Romans would have built an amphitheater. That's proof that they were never here. Yes, <laughs> So, another downhill to go up on the other side. That place name is almost as short as all in Norway. <laughs> See down to Isla Graciosa. Quite a view. So this is the Mirador del Rio. Rio being the little strait here. and does brighten up the whole area. Oops, and finished by its end. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. North wind that Lanzarote and Fuerteventura are famous for. You can see from the palm trees which way the wind is blowing and 
we're actually heading south today. So just a little bit more side wind and we'll be blown all the way to Playa Blanca. Well, they picked a good spot for their wind farm. Now, when you see a lava field like this, you probably get the impression it's no place for farmers. But here in La Guerrilla, the farmers were a step ahead of the rest and found an ingenious way to make use of the lava stone and also create vineyards. I'm a little bit distracted here because I've just seen exactly what they've done. Up the hills, they've created hollows. So you've got wind protection, planted their vines, covered them with little lava stone, which is porous. It absorbs the dew at night, hence, irrigating the vines and Bob's your uncle. Who would have thought you could have vineyards in a landscape like this? We're at the ferry port now at uh, Playa Blanca, just before we head over to Puerto Ventura. And after 250 odd kilometers in Lanzarote, we can safely say it's a fabulous cycling destination. Yeah, it really worked out fine. I mean, the scenery is spectacular, all these lava fields and volcanoes and little whitewashed houses and villages. So now we're hopping on to Fuerteventura. Let's see what that has to offer. See you later. 